well hello and welcome to another video of this series so in this video we are going to focus on dependency injection using hilt library so first of all the first question is what is dependency injection so it is important not to get confused with the dependencies that we add in our gradle files so let's call those gradle dependencies as libraries so libraries are dif different from the hilt dependencies that we are going to talk about in this video so we can think of a class or an object or a function as a dependency in in here uh, so in budget database class for example we have two functions uh, get budget dao and get profile dao uh, of type of the respective classes so we can say that budget database class is uh, needs to have access of those budget DAO and profile DAO interfaces. In other words, database class is dependent on those classes. So we can call budget DAO and profile DAO dependencies here. So there are several ways when we think of uh, object oriented programming, there are several ways we can use different classes in one class one way is traditionally uh, creating an object or an instance through which we can access the functions of different classes the variables of those classes and all and uh, when we think about particularly in android environment there is another way uh, of doing that is we can use those classes from somewhere like using android apis like uh, for example context api will give access to uh, system services for example if you want a location service we can get that through the context uh, in android and the third and the most efficient way of uh, is to supply needed class or the variable or the functions uh, through the constructor parameter uh, in other words we can inject those through the constructor so we'll be using hilt library to make this injection so let's dive into the code now first uh, we need to make an application class uh, which will be annotated as hilt android app and we need to add that in our manifest file as well so this will be the first app first step when you'll be adding hilt into any android project so let's create an application class so go to the root package and create another kotlin file or class i'm gonna name it budget application and this will inherit from application and we do not have uh, anything to write in this uh, class so we can close the body and this will annotate as um, hilt android app so hilt can know uh, the basically what hilt provides is it provides auto generated class so that which we can use uh, to inject stuff uh, in different classes right so this annotation basically tells hilt that this is the base class of the entire application now we need to add this in the manifest file so let me just close all the classes here uh, and in the manifest uh, in the application tag you just need to write name and it will auto suggest the application class that you have created so that's it so now uh, the next step is to create a module for hilt so basically hilt module is a class which is annotated with add module and it basically informs hilt how to provide instance of certain type to other classes so let's create that module and i'm gonna create another package named di stands for dependency injection and i'm gonna name um, the file app module and this will be uh, an object so every hilt module in your application in your project will be of type object so we need to annotate this as add module so hilt can know this is a module 
We also need to annotate the every hilt module with another annotation which is at install in so at install in and we have to pass singleton compot singleton component double colon class dot uh, java uh, well actually we don't need to dot write dot java here just this double colon class so now let me explain what this is um, this at installing uh, annotation is to tell hilt which android class each module will be used in uh, dependency or class that you provide hilt module are available in all generated components that are associated with android class um, where you can where you install the hilt module right uh, so we have used singleton component in our application so what it means basically it it is used for application level of injection uh, which means our module this app module will only get destroyed when the application is destroyed or it is closed uh, so it will leave as long as the application leaves so let me take you to the developer website and if you google uh, dependency injection with hilt it will give you the link to this website which is developer.android.com and when you scroll down here we have a table for different components that we can use in our module we have used singleton component which is for inject uh, which is an injector for application we same way we have view model component activity component fragment service and you can uh, refer to this list and here we have another table which says uh, component lifetime uh, so as i said com singleton component lives as long as the application is uh, is on uh, is application lives by the way so it destroyed uh, when the applicant application is destroyed when it is closed uh, same way activi act activity component will destroy when the activity is destroyed uh, fragment and service uh, is uh, it works in the same way you can refer to this play this uh, web page to learn more about the uh, different components now uh, let's go back to the Android studio now here uh, in our app module uh, we need to create functions to inject or let's say provide uh, database class so our database class is a uh, budget database right uh, so we need to provide budget database as a room database to our different classes uh, where we will in will be interacting with the database so to create function let's let's just create a function uh, I'm gonna name it provides uh, budget database and this will have context in the parameter so context context so okay another thing uh, by default we do not have access to the context uh, in our hilt module so we need to annotate this as application context so this is how room will uh, sorry hilt will recognize that it okay this is actually a context so this function uh, will be equal to room dot database builder now we have to pass this context here uh, sorry context here then another thing will be the, the database class in our case is it it is budget database double colon class dot java and the third parameter will be uh, the name of our budget uh, database so let's create another package and this will be util package and let's create a kotlin file and let's name it util or uh, let's name it constants and this will by the way be the object so we don't have to create um, instance of the class um, so const well database underscore name will be budget database so we can use this variable here 
sorry database name database underscore name and import that and we need to call dot build at the end so now this function will have two but mainly one most important one uh, annotation which is provides this basically tells uh, that this function is uh, to provide uh, the room database uh, all right and we uh, we can also annotate this as at singleton which means only a single instance of this function uh, will be available through the lifetime of the application right um, now we have access to our room database through this function now we need to provide our DAO object as well so because uh, to interact with the database we have uh, created functions to do that in our DAO interfaces so we need to have a function that provides the DAO so let's create functions so add provides and add at singleton fun uh, provides profile DAO okay now one thing here is to provide the DAO we need to have database class but here it will already know uh, it already knows where to look for the database class at as we already have created function for that and uh, uh, so it will use that function to provide DB to uh, to provide the database interface so it will check the app module okay let's see if we have uh, a function that provides the database so if we look into this function and it will say yes we have already a function that provides the database so it will directly use uh, that function here so db of type budget database and it will be uh, equals to db dot prof get profile DAO which we have already uh, made made an abstract function inside the budget database class so same way we can create a function to provide uh, budget DAO as well let me change the function name budget and get budget okay let, let's just get budget DAO so okay um, now we have access to the DAO interfaces through the hilt but we need to have that inside our repositories so because uh, if you know the MVVM architecture will be using repository uh, in uh, as an intermediate medium to have access to the database uh, and interact to to the database basically so let's create repository package now repository and in here I'm gonna name uh, I'm gonna create another class which will be named um, budget repository okay so now we want to inject that budget DAO inside our repository and we can do that through annotation uh, inject and constructor now we can have variable of budget DAO of type budget DAO so now what happens through this inject annotation Hilt will look into the module uh, which is app module and it will check if we have any function that provides the uh, whatever we need in the injection so in this case we need budget DAO so it will check uh, for the function in the app module to see if we have function that provides budget DAO definitely we have so if we'll use that function to inject budget DAO inside this uh, budget repository and through this budget DAO variable now we can access the different uh, functions that we have created inside this budget DAO so a lot of boilerplate code is removed because we use Hilt library uh, for dependency injection so now to conclude why exactly we should use dependency injection um, the three main reasons are reusability of code it is very very efficient uh, when you think about the large code base 
uh, if it helps you to reuse the code without writing the same kind of code again and again uh, again when we think of a large code base refactoring is made very easy when we are using hilt library then obviously the mo most uh, important use of dependency injection is uh, it makes to write test cases very easy so yeah uh, this is how basically you can set up uh, your project with mvvm and hilt library so if you have not understood any concept of this video i will advise you to watch the video again from the scratch uh, from the start and you can also comment down your questions in the comment section and i will try my best to answer them all so from the next video we'll be working on the core functionalities of our application which is of inserting profile details inserting budget entries and getting all those entries and profile details and all sort of stuff uh, so please if you haven't subscribed uh, <coughs> to this channel yet please do subscribe and press the notification bell so you get the notification whenever i post a new video and if you like this video please give a like and share it with your friends so uh, they also can get the uh, free content that, we, that i'm trying to provide uh, through the platform of youtube so i'll see you guys in the next video